Okay, so here we are having a quick look at installing and configuring the Synology USB Station 2 device. So we've now connected a network cable to it. We've connected either a USB printer or a USB external drive. In this case, I've connected a USB hard drive and I've plugged the power in. And at the moment, all the lights on the front of the device are flashing green. So we're ready to go. So the first thing to do is to pop in the CD that comes in the box and you'll see the screen that's on there at the moment. So we need to install the software and get it all configured and up and running. So we just click start. It's gonna tell us that Synology Assistant is gonna be installed. Yep, that's great, that's what we want. So we click next. And then it's just a case of waiting a few moments and in this case it's installed. Uh, it's now looking for devices. So again, in my case, it's found the USB station two. It's come up with this IP address and it's telling us currently that it's starting the services. So let's make that slightly bigger so you can see it better. So we click on that and we're actually waiting for it to start now. Okay, so now we click on USB station two from the list. Again, in our case, we've only got one Synology device connected to our network. If you've got more than one, obviously you find that. And next thing to do is click connect. It's gonna open Internet Explorer or whatever your particular browser is and it's going to ask us to sign in so here we go we type in the username and then we click OK now again in our case again the username was admin and there was a blank password this is the pretty much standard default setting for Synology devices with Disk Station Manager 3 but just to make sure, check the manual that comes on the CD to see what it is. Um, you don't really want to be in a position where you can't connect to it. So again, here we are. So the first thing we want to do is set up the server name and the time zone. So we click that. And it's telling us before we start using the device, uh, we should set up a server name and time zone. So let's click there to set up a server name. Now at the moment, its server name is USB Station 2. It's DHCP. Um, and to be honest, I'm quite happy to leave it at that. Let's just have a look what else we can do. We can set up this sort of connection. We can use a wireless dongle if we wanted to. Again, USB. And we can set up tunneling. But for now, I'm okay with this, so let's click OK. It's telling us no settings were changed, so that's fine. Let's just close that again. Okay, so the next thing to do is to make sure the time zone settings are correct. So we click to launch the time zone settings. Now what we want to do, we want to actually synchronize with an NTP server because it's always going to ensure the time is correct. So we choose that, we can do it daily. We want to choose a server, so in our case, let's choose time.windows.com and click update. That's done. Now let's change the time zone to what suits us. In my case, it's GMT. And then we click OK. And click cancel and then we can just close that. We can create users if we need to and we can access files on the USB station too. So let's just click that for a second and it's telling us that we can go to the file browser um, and do all that sort of thing to access the device. So let's not worry too much for now. And let's click close.